American chickens, American bread. And that, uh, that's America's superpower is growing so much food. We're so abundant. We have incredible farmland, incredible resources, water, all these things, soil, okay? Farmers in general, the knowledge, technology, all these things, we're a powerhouse when it comes to this. But at the same time, it's one of our biggest disadvantages as well. It's one of our biggest blind spots for making us sick, right? And destroying our health. And now we have Trump coming out and kind of spilling the beans and solidifying what we've all thought, all right? And he's saying big pharma's doing this. And he's saying that they need to pay for what they've done the past few years, making everyone sick and potentially even giving people cancer and all this stuff. That's what he's warning of. So let's get into the details here really quick, guys. Please just hit it up for me down there. It helps to get these warnings out so people know what's going on in our country. People are just eating this junk and it's potentially making them extremely sick. Right? And I'm guilty of this too. It's hard to phase every little thing out. All right? But that's the goal here is to phase one thing out at a time. All right? Start growing your own vegetables. Start having laying hens that are giving you eggs. All right? Start raising meat birds. Get some dairy animals. All right? That's what we're working on right here. All right? to just cut out the food supply entirely so we know it's clean and we know it's healthy. But I want you to listen to this warning that Trump just issued on July 2nd, right? He just issued this warning and he is saying that he's going to go after Big Pharma. He's kind of spilling the beans saying that they're going to go after them if he gets in again. All right, so listen to this really quick. In recent decades, there has been an unexplained and alarming growth in the prevalence of chronic illnesses and health problems, especially in children. We've seen a stunning rise in autism, autoimmune disorders, obesity, infertility, serious allergies, and respiratory challenges. It's time to ask, what is going on? Is it the food that they eat, the environment that we live in, the over-prescription of certain medications? Is it the toxins and chemicals that are present in our homes? Every year we spend hundreds of billions of dollars to treat these chronic problems rather than looking at what is causing them in the first place. Too often our public health establishment is too close to Big Pharma. They make a lot of money, Big Pharma. Big corporations and other special interests and does not want to ask the tough questions about what is happening to our children's health. If Big Pharma defrauds American patients and taxpayers or puts profits above people, they must be investigated and held accountable. When I'm back... Alright, so you heard that there. He said they're going to be investigated and held accountable.
All right, and he also saying that this is potentially linked to autoimmune disorders, all these different things that are affecting people in the country. It's potentially linked to this. Exactly. What's the root cause? Why are we just treating all these things, just treating the symptoms? But there's never investigation into the root cause. All right. So this is big that he's calling them out like this because he's been on the other side of this. All right. He's been on the other side of the big pharma stuff. And he probably knows now and realizes that it's not good. All right. Seeing the side effects the past four years of what's going on with this stuff that was rolled out for people. Okay. And there's been a lot of destruction right there's been a path of destruction and it's been very blacklisted right it's very swept in the rug even right now you can barely really get into all this stuff but you know what i'm talking about what's happened people that have been injured people that have lost their lives lives destroyed careers destroyed over the past few years and a lot of it's related to these big pharma companies okay they they are just allowed to run these experiments on the american people left and right they're always happening continuously in our food supply everything he's talking about fertility rates exactly fertility rates are collapsing all right and part of it is it's not even just birth rates it's people can't even get pregnant all right there's something going on there's some hormonal thing going on Right, men have extremely low T levels compared to decades past. Every decade it gets lower. Right? Something's going on. There's something in the food. There's these microplastics everywhere. Everyone's on these different medications. There's all these things that end up in the water supply and then other people drink them, right? And th there's a dozen different things that are affecting us. And we really need to have someone that's going to rein in a lot of these agencies that are running wild and running these wild experiments on us. All right. So this is good news to hear. All right. And it doesn't mean everything's fixed or anything, but this is just something that you don't really hear at a presidential level that they're going to figure out what's going on and insinuate that it's coming from the food it's coming from the medications it's coming from big pharma and their experiments all right so this is big this is why you guys need to just be getting yourself prepared and getting yourself ready all right i grabbed this girl over here because she keeps pecking at the computer so i just snatched her up really quick all right this is what we're working on And she's, they're giving us a ton of eggs, right? And if it ever came down to it, I can eat these chickens too, right? And we're actually going to have meat chickens very